Hi, welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you some round displays from Midas. These are 128 by 128 pixels available in blue on black, yellow and black and white on black. They sent me the blue one free of charge for evaluation and I was so impressed I purchased the white and yellow and I'll give you a demonstration. So Midas displays here in Norfolk in the UK, I'll put a link in the show more. So I've not seen these round displays before, I was, I was impressed. They are 3 volt logic, but they need, which is why I've got this circuit board out of the box to show you, they need a little charge pump or booster. So this tiny little device insulated with sellotape, this is a Maxim um, charge pump uses uh, one tiny little coil buried here somewhere, a tiny 0805 10 micro henry, a couple of capacitors that steps the voltage up from 3 to 15 yeah that's I didn't point out these are organic LEDs so there's no backlight you need the higher voltage for the drivers for the organic LEDs yeah, I've got a clock, real time clock calendar on here as well I'm using the PIC 18F 27K42 because it's got a ton of RAM and a ton of ROM. So the display's uh, just under 37 millimeters and just over 41 millimeters uh, and 2.05 millimeters thick. Yeah, so I'll draw a flower on one of these and you'll appreciate the grayscale depth. This is the first example, obviously being a round OLED, I wanted to demonstrate a round gauge. You will have seen this code before on the colour TFTs. So I've got a small delay in there so you can actually see the needle pointing. Because we're dealing with fractions of four decimal places, it actually takes a lot of computing to get this needle to sweep smoothly, so I'll put a delay in there. If you connect this to an ADC, it's you know, super fast, quicker than you know, the eye can follow it. So that's the blue on black. Obviously simulating uh, a sort of pressure gauge. I forgot, and being a round display, you can play about with dots and the circumference. Now we don't get all the pixels filled immediately because the rotating dot doesn't fall in the place of a pixel. Right, so Christmas is approaching. I'm going to make this next project out of using this display, this box, I'll tidy it up, put a battery in there uh, for my friend's son. I think he's going to love it. I know I would love it as a child and I still think it's really cool now. There we are. Now I'm an adult and I think this is cool. So I know a six or seven year old would love this. Uh, so if you've got some children or grandchildren, uh, as I say, Christmas is approaching. Get onto Midas, have a look at their displays. I think this is a really cool sort of gift, cool toy. This is 3 volt, not very big. So I'm assuming you could put a couple of these 3 volt um, batteries in. That's a bigger one, but you could obviously use these smaller ones. So this is obviously a pretend radar. Uh, I'll put uh, Harrison's name here, probably drop it down a bit, smaller characters. Uh, I've got a random number generator, just puts garbage on the screen. There's actually a dot uh, in places and you get this garbage down here. Uh, and the radar sweeping. I think you'll really love it. And I'm sure many of your kids would too.
Right, let me show you the white display. If you see a flickering, I don't see it on this camera, but I've seen it before. If you see a flickering on this display, it's because this actually scans very quickly. It will give you a full screen picture and you will not see it being drawn. Uh, so if you see if you see a flicker, it's the scanning of this fast screen compared with the scanning of this camera. So that's the time. Now let me draw a picture. There we are. So now I can see the flickering on this camera, but as I say, the screen to my sight is not flickering. It's a rock steady image. But this highlights the grayscale. So some pixels are brighter than others. You obviously don't get that on the regular LCD or OLED. The pixel is either on or off. You've got at least a 4 bit grayscale. I can't zoom in any closer, this camera won't focus, but hopefully you can see there are darker pixels and lighter pixels. So that's the white OLED. You've seen the blue one, now I'll put my favourite, the yellow one on. I've just checked the data sheet for the fan. What is it? It's a fan 5331 uh, charge pump boost converter. And the spec says it will operate from 2.7 to 5.5 volts. So this displays 3 volts, a microcontroller uh, can run on 3 volts, and the boost converter can run on 3 volts. So you get a little circuit, a small microcontroller, you could do a PCB to sit behind the display. The PCB would be smaller than this coin cell. So as I say, if you see a flickering, bit of a shame, but that's the scan ratio of this camera and the screen. Just before I leave you with this last pattern, I'll put a link in the show more to the part numbers of the three displays. For these displays, and a ton of rectangular and round, uh, including the e-paper displays. Get, uh, email sales at MidasDisplays.com If you want the files, the C file, um, uh, by the way I'm using Microelectronica's Micro C Pro for PIC, so any 8-bit microcontroller, I'm using the 8-bit parallel mode. If you want to copy of the C file, let me know, I'll put it in the show more. If you want a copy of the STL file for this, let me know, I'll put it in the show more. You do have to alter the library to get this to work. I haven't finished the code. So my code currently only works in the Microelectronica library. Any questions, just leave a comment. If you like these displays and want to see more displays from Midas, leave a comment. Thank you for watching.